Hi, everybody. Welcome to E3. And guess what I found? I found a handy dandy report card that we're going to go ahead and shape uh, based on what we want. I, I don't know if COVID makes Aisha Tyler more or less likely to show up, right? Because then they just need her at her desk. She hasn't been at one in years. Are you sure? How weird is it that they're introducing aliens to Rainbow Six? Be honest. It was already a thing? Okay. I was going to say, because I thought the game was supposed to be like, it's like sort of realistic, three. right? Ella, like, alibi, and Clancy Sledge shit is supposed to be sort of tactical, but I just have no desire to play this. I know that's just me, but it's just looks like more of the same. Yeah, I just don't. A rescue mission is underway. I don't know. Still needs you. Oh, I'm I'm doing it. I know. I know. Yeah. Somebody's got to do it. If I don't Operators, react, who else will? Instead of this, I'm going to tell you guys my Rainbow Six story. Uh, I played one game of Rainbow Six. My friend bought it for me. It was fifty dollars, right? And I play one round, okay? And in that one round, I'm standing there in a room waiting to see somebody. And I hear to my left, I hear this like, Poof, and I look left, and there's a hole in the wall. And then somehow, like a little barrel comes through the hole. It shoots out a grenade, and then I died instantly. That was the only game I've ever played of Rainbow Six Siege. Subscription service. Get year. fucked, Learn chat. You pay for lessons the whole time. The I was right. Guitar as a songs. service. What's the price? The Guess it. Guess the price. $15 a month. $15 a month. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. $15. Multiple tiers. $15 a month at base, $30 for premium. I wonder if this game is going to have, like... You know that thing where, like... create the future. TK learning. used to stream Rocket Thank League, so and every time he streamed Rocket League, like, actual Rocket League professionals Rocksmith would jump into his chat years. just so they could, like, Let's they would try to get into his game Rocksmith so they could show off. For another 10. I wonder if Rocksmith is gonna have that. Like, there's gonna be some guy streaming to, like, 5,000 people, Register and then, like, Slash is gonna enter the data. game to show the fuck off. So Look what I can do! Listen, I've got a soft spot for Far Cry, so... Far Cry hits my brain just right. It tickles my brain in just the right spot where I'm clearing stuff off a map. I love it. My favorite way to describe games like these... Far Cry is like picking up a bunch of colored M&Ms in an empty parking lot. They're unactivated. Yeah, exactly! You know? I'm a mouse getting the cheese. You was too proud to let that fish go. You have uh, I thought he'd be being a lot more like reserved. I like I I thought that this would be different. He's just doing over the top crazy guy Far Cry villain, you know? The problem with the bad guys in Far Cry is it's cool until you yeah, now they're like looking so much at it. It's like explaining why a joke is funny, right? Like, this dude is telling me how cool it is that they've made bad guys that are compelling and charismatic. And now it's their sole focus, and it's like, I don't... Dude, just... Just make the game. Yeah! Let's go! Mario! Sp Astronaut Super Mario! Yeah! I can't believe they made a rabid Luma. <laughs> Biggest official shit post in years. Is there gonna be a rabid Rosalina? There has to be, right? That's gross. Tony the tiger? All right. Uh, turn it off. Yeah, I, do. I don't like that one. I don't like that one one bit. Despite Ubisoft's insistence, I will not be attracted to a rabbit. Under no circumstances. Oh no, not uh... I'm so sick of this fucking meme! This game- the movie came out 15 years ago! Why is it such a big media franchise? They have one movie! I don't get this, dude! It's the best-selling movie of all time, why wouldn't you tap into it? Because it's- here's the thing. If this movie came out 15 years ago and that was it, I'd be, it'd be fine because it's like, oh, cool. They're tapping into the best-selling movie of all time, right? It was a huge deal at the time. That'd be one thing. But this, this fucking series has been on, like, this weird stop-start just constantly saying things are happening. Like, it's supposed to be a franchise. It's so astroturfed. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, if it was just one movie, like, if they put out something from that long ago, it'd be one thing. But the fact that it's just... I, I don't get it, man. Here are my thoughts on the Ubisoft conference. I think if I had to sum it up in one word, it would be... Movies. A lot of movies for games that hang there very little gameplay, period. Right? I like that Devolver publishes series, pretty much everything they think is cool. Even if I don't think it's cool, you know? game, They usually hit in terms of their games. I played this! I played this beta! I played it over the weekend. Was it good? Um... I wasn't hugely into it. I think the idea is really cool, but the execution isn't quite there yet. So the idea is that every one of these is a pre-generated tunnel, and only one person can ever beat each of the tunnels. So you get ghosts of other people trying, and it's asynchronous. It's a really cool idea, but, like, it really comes down to, like, so what? I thought you were playing with ghosts and people at the same time. So it was like a speedrunning game. And I thought that was sick. Because you have, like, 50 ghosts with, like, eight other players with you, and you can not only run with the people you're playing with, but also look at how other people died. Like, if you were running with live players and ghosts, that would be sick. Fashionable. But now that's a if phrase. it's all dead people, I don't care. There's no a tension. That Western? Wait! <laughs> okay, I don't know about that. Yeah, okay. Wait, survival. I hate survival. Uh, man. I mean, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not into it, but I'm not into it, but some people will, you know, don't don't starve is sick. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying that uh, The name and the tree. Okay, not for me. Not for me. Not for me. Whoa. Yes. Oh My god, I fucking love the hex. Hell yeah, dude. Oh card based fuck. I was so excited man like the Hex was amazing. Pony Island was pretty good as a proof of concept. I don't want to play cards. But I do trust this guy. This guy is so talented, man. Like, when I played the Hex, I was like, this guy is just really fucking cool. And you can just see it here. I, I'm gonna play it. Big fan. That's the cool- that's the good game. That's the good game. This is the meme game. Got your phone, it's tumble time. Ignore loved one. <laughs> <laughs> Are they making a mobile game? Let it Sick! Your very I'll play Tumble Time! Hell yeah, dude! It's actually a gotcha game! Favorite characters that you've never even heard of. Yay! This looks good! I'm gonna play Tumble Time. Let's see what we expected. One good game. Yeah. That's Inscription or whatever it was. Three not fun games. Actually not that bad. If you assume that Tumble Time isn't fun because it's mobile, and Phantom Abyss isn't that fun, but at least they're trying, and the NES game, I'm pretty dead on. And then the meme game is Tumble Time. Boom! And there was available now! I was dead on! I hit the fucking bullseye! I'm on the upper end of Whelmed. It's literally what you expected. Yeah, 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 but Inscription looked very good. And I, I love that developer. I think he's very good. For some reason, Randy and Gearbox and Borderlands just hits me in the wrong... I don't know. Okay, okay guys, just so you know, I'm not cheating. For I mean, so the Gearbox conference, I, I expected filming, Borderlands. Lots of, lots of Listen, Borderlands 3 is one of my exciting. most played Steam games, don't get me wrong. Love. The Easy games the are... But like they the are... Class, oh, Kevin Hart, Ariana Greenblatt... Florian Monte so Jamie character. Lee Curtis? Anyway, I don't know how to describe uh, it. The they tickle legendary. you in the same way that Far Cry does, right? I, but I think Far Cry guys, is a little bit more overt is, uh, in what they're trying to do. Because it's like, they're Ubisoft. You get it. Uh, but I feel like Borderlands is trying to hide behind this veil of, like, uh, you, 2005 humor. And I don't like that Marvel. shit. I don't know. It, this is gonna sound yeah. so yeah. rude and, like, it is assuming and I don't mean to be an asshole, but this feels so... Self-serving for Randy well. specifically. Does that make uh, sense? And we're really proud of where we're at. Like this feels so self-absorbed. Uh, uh, like, so we're about, we're why is this Randy's vlog? Oh, yeah, new game. New game. Wait, it's not new, right? Isn't this shit old? Oh, it's this. Yeah, yeah. Border. It's by the, it's Borderlands, guys. It's Borderlands. It's Borderlands. <laughs> This is totally standalone. Oh, you're right. This is not a Borderlands game. So I'm not going to see any Borderlands characters. Yeah, there won't be any Borderlands characters. And look at all these great actors that they have on board. It does kind of look like Borderlands, but at least it's not in the Borderlands universe. And there won't be anybody like, I don't know, 
Tiny Tina or Jack or anybody like that. I'm glad that this is its own thing using Borderlands engine. Oh, a butt stallion. A unicorn doing a silly, funny attack. Wow. That's sort of similar to Borderlands, but at least it's not Borderlands. And there's Tiny Tina. It's fucking Borderlands. It's Borderlands. I'm such a hater. I feel so fucking bad. I, I don't mean to be just totally negative. I just, I'm so annoyed. You made that joke already! You already made that joke! Why again? Why again? Why do you have to do it? You have... Make two jokes! Make two jokes! I'm going fucking insane. I'm going insane. Like, I... I like to make them our own. Thank you so much, everybody. I Randy, this can we get a magic trick? For so long. Please? Can I please? No, why are we back in home world? What is this? This presentation feels like CIA sanctioned torture. Like, I feel like this has been, like, specifically designed for this, you know? I'm awake, but in here, it's off. The lights are off. I'm muting. I told Randy to make another joke, and he made knock-knock jokes. I, I genuinely feel like Gearbox is, like, Randy Pitchford's passion project, and he ju it's all just him. It's just, like, a feverish... The, I don't... This is so bizarre to me. When you have Borderlands money, can't you do something, like, more into... I just... I feel like I could... Th here, okay. It's an expectations thing. If I saw this come out from like a no-name developer that I'd never heard of, I'd be like, sick! That's kind of cool, right? The fact that I know it's Gearbox knows, I know what's gonna happen. It's the Ubisoft effect, exactly. And then I played it and it was exactly what I thought it would be, which is just trite, you know? I'm a hater. I, I didn't want to be a hater. I'm trying to, I'm trying not to just shit on stuff for no reason. I don't want to be negative. I think I've, I'm, I'm the Joker. Honey, my fortune enemies, cookie just bosses, said never laugh at anyone's dream and it sounds a lot like you're laughing a lot at Pitchford's dream of creating a shitty studio to fund his magic. I just feel like, I feel like there has been no growth or sophistication from Gearbox in like 20 years. That's my problem, is like, the game, like, Borderlands 3, I don't really know what it did different from 1 or 2. And so if you're not going to iterate on the gameplay, that's not a terrible thing. It will eventually stale you out, but, like, Ratchet & Clank apparently isn't that different. The Ratchet & Clank game that came out yesterday. And a lot of people are like, hey, this is kind of old, but it's presented really well. The graphics are really cool. It has a new narrative elements. It's Homeworld again. How did, why are we jumping around this much? I heard that Ratchet & Clank is, like, really dull. And it's very old, but it's presented well. That's okay. You can get away with that. But when you put out the same game and don't change anything of the other stuff, like, I guess Borderlands had different stories, right? And they introduced Handsome Jack and they, they, they went into those backstories so much, but, like, it's still the Higher same super meta mid 2000s Don't forget humor. To try out like I, I just curricular activities. Show off your shutter. It's Borderlands again, by the, the way. Club. It's Borderlands. Elastic. That's the presentation. That's the presentation. You know what's weird? I would call myself uh, rather rather whelmed because I knew what it was gonna be like. So I wouldn't call myself underwhelmed. I knew what I was getting into. Yeah, whelmed, but still an F. Yeah, I guess so. Yoshi's Island remastered for the Xbox. I would buy an Xbox, <laughs> unironically. I've always wanted to play Stalker, but I feel like it's like probably not fun to play now. You know, no way it looks like this. No way it looks like this. Get the fuck out of here. No fucking way the mud looks like that. Get the fuck out of here. D I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. This is a watchdog situation. That's a year away, brother. What you got for me now? Isn't it kind of crazy that like before E3 starts, there's like 50 games with no guns about like living in a cottage We're and planting here. flowers. Rebuilding. And then once E3 starts, just fucking Spons guns everywhere. Not a fan of the whole zombie game thing. These are different. Uh, I like Left 4 Dead style stuff because there's like a linear sort of set of pacing, you know? For some reason, I thought this was like St. Louis because of the arch. And I was like, how the fuck did they get sand in St. Did they drop a sand bomb? 
a sand nuke? I... You know, like... But there is sand everywhere, and there are, like, streets going into the sand. Is that no? I don't think that's no. Yeah, there's sand in the city! How did that happen? What the fuck am I looking... Okay. I <laughs> what happened here? What the fuck is that? <laughs> that will never happen. That will happen once, and it will be on YouTube and get a million hits. But that will never happen to you in your game. You will never drive an ATV into a helicopter. I remember when I was younger, I thought Battlefield was like the sickest shit, and I never- What? You get to go to space? Fuck this shit, I'm going to the moon! Oh my god, that looks amazing. I love Psychonauts. It's- it's- I- it's probably in my top 30 games? I fucking love this game, but I am so jaded by Tim Schafer and this shit that I just- I'm not excited anymore, you know? Really? Okay! I'll give it up! I'll give it up, Tim! Fallout 76 is now one of the most popular games on Game Pass, thanks to an incredibly welcoming and collaborative community. Unironically, one of the worst six. games I've ever played. This game Winning fucking this battle, rules. Is it we'll Party Animals? Breed of fighter. Yes! Dude, this game rules. This Wait. game fucking rules. Uh, this game is excellent. This game is so fucking funny, dude. I love this game to death. This game is like if meme games were good. I'm the bunny, by the way. I'm the bunny. Although if they add a pig, I'm a pig. I don't want that pig. I don't want him to have a- Oh my god! <laughs> I fucking love this game, dude. 2020. Uh, how hard could it be? I'm not as upset about free-to-play Halo. Free-to-play for one season? Oh, dude, that's great then. I think when it's a dev like these guys, they're gonna earn it, you know? I think it'll be sick. I do. I'm not a Halo guy, but I think that's a really good idea from them. <laughs> Use the grapple on the gun. This is sick. I like this. That is a good point. This is a movie. This is not a game. Yeah. That is a very good point. <laughs> no fucking way. No. Come on. Come on. Did we load it? Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. But he's my brother. Oh no. That's so sad. What's happening? Oh no. This poor game. This is so sad. It's dying right in front of me. No sales. No sales. It's a problem on my side? I don't think so. I'm getting a lot of Fs. That's. Sucks. If I'm that studio and that's on Xbox's end and not mine, I'm suing them. Oh my god. Wait. If it's open, this looks kind of open world. I need a little bit more flavor. Give me some seasoning. But I like it so far. For anybody here that's new, SSX3 is one of my favorite games of all time. It has this like amazing zen-like flow with snowboarding. I like it a lot. I do. I hope it's good. Mm. The no, so the art style is amazing, but Well, I'm back in. I think I'm back in. I'm into it. Coney sees a gun and goes, "Hold on." Literally, yeah. If that game was just walking around talking to people and beating them up with hockey sticks or some shit, I'm not going to play it. That looked kind of sick. I do like that the Xbox conference is just game after game after game after game, you know? You know what? Xbox, you've earned this one. There have been no other anime game. It's fine. That's okay. That's okay. You can have it. They just made their own Octopath game. You know what, though? It looks much better. This is the game I would make. I'd be like, that game, Octopath is cool, but it looks like shit. I'm gonna make it pretty. And they did that. I hate making fun of this, because what if the game is actually really cool? Remember, Knockout City had a really shitty trailer, too, you know? the developers haven't finished the design. I just hate, like... You remember yesterday when I said the, the shittiest thing is, like, if somebody's trying to make an effort and you're just like, that's not funny. That's really corny, because you're not doing anything. You're just saying something isn't funny. And this is what I was worried about. Outer Worlds is a really good game. And now I have to shit all over their trailer because they do this ironic Randy Pitchford bullshit. 
I want to play this game. It's a good game. Why did you do that? I don't want to play your game anymore. I don't want to play your game anymore. Because it's going to be Borderlands meta. Oh, my fucking God. Now I'm mad. Now I'm angry. There's some game like... Oh, it's this fucking guy. Here we go. The Playground Bully. Yeah, I love this guy. We showed you the Damn, did you see that confidence? RPG I know the camera is going to be over here, so I'm looking before you switch. But we this also dude's a have chat. Some of the industry's best RPG Fuck you, camera one. I'm going to camera two. <laughs> Smooth. Fable. I feel like I've seen this. This is the Prey team. The Prey team is fantastic. <laughs> I just to meet you. Where's the other one? Uh, Where'd it go? Why is everybody making Left 4 Dead? I mean, I, again, I I have a lot of faith in that team because Prey was incredible and everybody skipped Prey. But I it's it's sort of weird that like one team remembered Left 4 Dead existed and now everybody's like, oh fuck, Left 4 Dead, let's make a Left 4 Dead. Like I'm feeling a B plus personally. I didn't see like a, a big enough hook for me. I see a lot of eight out of tens. Which isn't bad. 8 out of 10 is great. There's a lot of 8 out of 10s. But I'm not seeing... I wanted, like... I, I don't see a 9 or a 10. That's all. Way too many cutscene trailers for games that needed gameplay trailers. I guess that's just E3, though, right? And they've been working on it forever. What? There... Alright. I have a mini fridge right here. So, you know... Xbox, if you're watching... You want to do a deal, you know? I know that's all pre-recorded. I know you're tuned in right now. Phil, give me a call. Bethesda, I don't know how to grade this. I'm underwhelmed, but I don't know if that's fair because, like, they're they're not Xbox, right? Like, they're only working on two games, but they're not a big studio. They didn't really show... Yeah, maybe even... No, it's there. It's there because I really do think the Prey team is going to be amazing. Prey is one of the best games you've never played. Please go play Prey right now. Prey is amazing. Bro, space you know is the new meme. Is, it's crazy. Did IDOS make Avengers? I was gonna say, if it's Avengers again, it's gonna be awful. This is really cool art direction too, yeah. No, this looks good. It's so derivative of the movie, I wish they would try to make it not look like a knockoff. Ironically, I, uh, I would like this more if it wasn't attached to Marvel. Like, because I'm not a Marvel, like, comics guy, you know? If I saw a game like this and it wasn't Marvel, I would be like, hell yeah, perfect. But, you know, if you like Marvel stuff, that's good. I am glad that they didn't go with, like, they didn't try to make him look like Chris. Pratt, which I think is, is cool. No that shows phase of the game you are, confidence, honestly. It shows a bit of confidence, like this is its own thing, which is, you know, good for them. Why? Because I'm not interested in Marvel shit. I'm not interested in Marvel characters and in Marvel backgrounds and in Marvel tie-ins, and I'm not interested in that. I would like its own new IP with new characters that I get to find out about, not fucking a movie thing. Okay, I like this. I like this. Oh, I don't like games that do that. I, I, I get why it's cool. I don't like games where you have to control your teammates. I really don't like that, but I know people do. Dude, I, so I never played Avengers, but M Avengers seemed like the biggest fumble in video game history. Like, you had the biggest IP on the fucking planet. How did this happen? Report card for Square is just the Marvel logo. Yeah. A kindness that re the journey bestows those... <laughs> Please, slow it down! What the... F Play alongside compelling original character. I got that one. As well as legacy characters from... Fuck, man! What are you do? Who's that? What the fuck? Who's her? What? What? The, huh? Yeah. Does the of Neo Babylon stand among us? Let's find out. No way. No way. No way they did that. No way they did. They did that on purpose. I know they did. It's Left for Dead, by the way. Is it multiplayer? Are these multiple people? Yup, it's Left for Dead. I can't believe they did that. It can't be an accident, you know. It cannot be an accident. 
Now, let's check out the next major entry in the popular Life is Strange series. True uh oh! <laughs> the team of Deck Nine is ready to give you a deeper look. Alex Chen must uncover the truth behind her brother's death, using her psychic power of empathy to unravel the shocking secrets of Haven Springs. Power huh? of her psychic power of empathy? What the fuck are Alex you talking about? I need to <laughs> when I show to empathy. Sure. Alex, we'll, uh, we'll get out of your way. <laughs> I cannot believe this series is real. I really can't. It's it honestly blows my mind. I remember everybody popping off about Life is Strange, and it was the most bizarre thing I'd ever seen. It's not a holy shit. Now this is a Platinum Games game. This is a this is what I want to see. What the fuck is he doing? This guy's fucking angry. What the fuck? This looks tight. Oh, dude, I like it. I like it. I will play it. I will play it. Square USA locked their Twitter account? No, they didn't. Huh? What did you do? What? What? What, what did you guys do? It says they merged? Oh. Damn it. Square Enix was not really what I expected. I, I, I feel like it's... This. But also, this, and a little empathy. Maybe a little empathy, you know? It is the kill the Didn't system. these guys make Evolve? Uh, was that Turtle Rock? By choosing the right <laughs> We're inspired by ourselves. Yeah, what if Valve just announced Left 4 Dead 3? So if they were just like, we've been waiting forever, SMGs, and it's out and right job. now. <laughs> weapons, each with sort of like Valve, you assholes. Oh, oh man. All multiplayer uh, games with abilities will weapons. always produce so a meta where a set of abilities scopes, are the best. Yeah, I mean, like, that's why I didn't really like playing Left 4 Dead 2 combat or, or, you know. The uh, so PvP that much because people got like less, really serious and it was like it got kind of annoying. Uh, wait. wait, you said it was half an hour. You said it's been it's been ten minutes. <laughs> Golden Boy is just like, what do we do? What do we do? All right, well we don't really have an update. We're kind of stuck. Uh, <laughs> what? The ver By the way, it's space again. Everything is space now. It's crazy. This reminds me. You guys remember that game Steel Battalion? I've always wanted to play it. And now that I live a content life, I might be able to. You guys don't know Steel Battalion? Hold on. Then I'm going to mute this. Steel Battalion was a mech game, but it came with a $200 controller. This isn't a joke. There's a $200 controller that you piloted like an actual mech. It has permadeath. You have to hit the eject button. If you don't hit the eject button, you lose your save. Your save gets deleted. Wait, this is PC Gamer. Right? This isn't a mobile game? This doesn't look bad. Wait, he turned himself into a ball. It's the same game. It also doesn't look good, but it doesn't look bad. I'd play this. Got lost on the way to Devolver. Make sure to if that was a Devolver game, I would be pogging my brain out. Ooh, but for some sweet. reason, I'm not. Dude, I don't know who this game is for. I've seen this game a few times. Who is playing this? It's called Raw Men. I've been watching it. I've been like, you'll see. It's Splatoon, right? I, I know, and I know it's weird because I really love Knockout City, and I feel like people would watch that and feel the same way. But I'm just watching this, and I'm like, I feel like theming your stuff around food is a mistake. This looks fucking fun. I hey, listen, if you want to play it, go for it. I just, uh, I don't get it. Tiny Hi. Build is like a bad My Devolver to me. Whenever I, I see Tiny Build, I'm like, ah, you know, I really like Dying Light. I think, uh, I think it's one of those things where I played Dying Light years after it came out, and I didn't like it. But if I played it right when it came out, I would have liked it. It's really shitty how games feel so consumable like that, you know what I mean? Like, if you play the game right when it comes out, it feels new and fresh and interesting, but if you wait, like, two years, most games aren't fun anymore, you know? Tiny Build did Hello Neighbor, right? Oh, did they? Took refuge on the rooftops. Dude, Hello Neighbor is so fucking weird. I see that shit, city. like, has merch People at GameStop and stuff, and I'm like, Monsters. who's buying this? Oh, no. I have food. 
I have food. Guess who's here? Guess who's here? You guys don't care about this, right? This is Orcs Must Die. You guys don't care. Yeah! Dude, he's so happy. Say hi, chat. Hi, chat. Okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Sweet boy. What the fuck? You know who's gonna love this? You know who's gonna love this? Dear old dad. Dear old dad is pogging. I'm just so tired. <laughs> I'm just so tired, you guys. <laughs> Fish limbo art game. Single gimmick indie puzzle game. <laughs> I just, I know, I'm so jaded. Oh, this is it. This is it. Guys, go get your kids. Guys, go get your kids right now. They're gonna wanna see this. Everybody, go get your kids. I watched a long play of this game so I could understand the story just to be like, why do people like this? I still don't get it. I watched the whole story. I don't fucking understand. Kids do love lore. Yeah. <laughs> why do you look at me? me to welcome you. Press one if you want to see the dinosaurs. Press two if you want to see a dog. How cute he is. Oh, he's sniffing you, chat. Here you go. Up. So cute! Dude, I saw After this tweet too. Failed attempts at Look at this. Park and getting all those people killed, I saw this too. I this is finally gonna be the one where you finally pull it off without it. I wanna play this. I do wanna play this. I played the first faith, I think, and I don't remember it, so I wanna play them all. The glove measures the signal traveling through muscles in your hand to beat your finger to the click. Wow. Our neurons at the very least remain unfried. That's up, crazy. Cyborg esports player. The feel of a real racing machine Dude, without, that's you know, sick though. To huff. Is it space? Let's go! Yes! Finally! Oh, well, I guess this is Warhammer, right? Isn't this? Isn't that what Warhammer is? Okay, I'll give Warhammer a pass. Why is it called Warhammer Forty Thousand? What's the reason for that? The year? No. Are you serious? You just Holy got shit. the chance to witness chaos. <laughs> That's really funny because Brutal like so many other like games are like, you know, really the distant future of 2012. That will sure never happen to Warhammer. Demon hunters Civilization will be over. Dude, EVE Online is so funny to me. Like no other. The, star cluster the fact that this is just like a boomer Wild West and, and people are spending you, hundreds you of thousands of dollars on their ships. That's so funny. Okay. Oh my God, it's fucking Pikmin. Oh my god, they made Pikmin. Oh my god! They made a new Pikmin! Oh my god! Yo! I actually do like this a lot. I actually, I unironically think this is cool. It's Pikmin, but you have more agency. Like, Olimar is able to do shit on his own. It's crazy how brazen they are, though. Like, they're not trying to hide that that's Pikmin. What is it about trends? That, like, why why is this trending? Like, why is it that all the trends now are stalker and, and space? God, dude, it's just, like, I don't... It's so weird. Because, like, these games would be so much more interesting to me if they had any sort... Like, even shit like We Happy Few, right? God-awful game. But it got me interested, and I looked into it because the... The, the, it looked creatively interesting. Something about four to five years ago made people want to do these games. That's what I'm wondering. Like, what happened four to five years? Like, SpaceX? I don't, you know? No way. It's another Octopath? Why is everybody making the same game? Like, I don't, this doesn't make sense to me. Has there been anything cool at all? There's a new Pikmin. <laughs> I mean, no, there have been, honestly, there have been a lot of good games. There have been a lot of good games. It's just they're mixed in with, it's like once an hour, there's something really cool. Death Trash. That's it. Death Trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember seeing this and it looked kind of neat. Again, this is sort of like a modern Fallout. Fallout 1 or 2, you know? No, this looks cool. Yeah. They've shown, th they showed this last year, maybe, or a few months ago. And I really liked the look of it. And return to space. space. Great. Bro, now they just keep doing this. They need to lump these in a different spot. They need to, like, space these out better. Because now this is just getting lumped in with death trash and games like... You know what I mean? Like, they've got to find ways to break this up. 
getting so tired of fucking pixel art. Yeah, I some I feel like some devs are catching up, and I see a lot of like PS1 aesthetic games, and I like those. But it's weird that like we we seem stuck in this 16-bit thing, you know? Space and pixels together. That's what the world needs. Yeah. Oh shit! Space and pixels. This is kind of cool. Boomer shooter. <laughs> It does look good. I'm not gonna play it because I'm not a big old Doom guy, but it does look good. And there you have it, the 2021 PC Gaming Show. <laughs> what? That's it? Um, what did we, we did? We expected dead shit, and we did get we did get old man games, right? But they <laughs> pretty good. This one I'm gonna give a D plus. Because it was it it had Pikmin and a couple other good games, but the good games were things that I've already seen before. Guys, this this is actually a big deal. We we're doing a lot of joking. We do a little joking, and we have done a lot of joking. But guys, this is actually like what the last Smash character, right? Second to last. Um, I'm pretty sure we might get a double. Sick. I'll give it up. That's sick. That's really cool. Pretty good, pretty good. Good reveal, you know? Not bad at all. Your choices oh no. matter in these emotional oh no. supernatural tales. Oh no. Are we really starting with this? Are we really starting with the empathy game? Why are they pretending Life is Strange 2 doesn't exist? Wait, you're right. There was Life is Strange 2. Oh god. <laughs> Can we get some like interpolation? Just lie. When you make the trailer, just lie. Yes! Anniversary this year. Oh, this is all I wanted. What? Get out of space. Land on the ground. Land on the Wait, that's not Oh, I thought it was DK. Okay, it's still fine. It's still fine. I like monkeys no matter what. I thought it was Donkey Kong. It's okay. I like monkey ball. It's okay. Go. Oh, the remaster, uh, which I guess isn't that hard, right? <laughs> I guess it's not hard to remake Monkey Ball levels, you know? Is this a full game? It said Mario Party Superstars. This isn't DLC? I mean, I love old Mario Party, but this is... A new game? All game modes work with online play. Sick! That's good. You can randomly match with other party goers worldwide. That's bad. <laughs> Playing aboard if I'm in fourth place at turn 19 out of 20, I quit. That suit's gross. Honey, take that back. Yeah, 2D Metroid. I'll give it up. This looks nice. Oh my god. She died. Jesus Christ. Club I fucking knew it. I knew off. that. Guys, the game comes out in like a week. Get it's kind of neat how all the sports games now have like a unified sort of feel. Like they have the music and the aesthetic. Speed golf. But that kind of worries me because I always liked the way that strikers work. You know? Get your <laughs> <laughs> Mario? Where are the cars? He shut down the whole city for that. He talked to his mayor and got it set up. Pauline, shut it down the city. Ready I wanted to play golf. Two JRPGs. Two JRPGs. Game yes! A certain company. Give it to me! <laughs> oh, baby, please you be good. Me? Two people can play together at the same time. Yes. So play nice. I <laughs> okay, I mean, I I like it a lot. No switch system, mm. September 10th. Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. I'm d right away. Right away. They didn't say online, though, which worries me. Third RPG. You're out. Ugh. SMT is hype. It's not too late, Nintendo. You could still cancel. You could still cancel this. You don't have to... You don't have to announce this. Do the thing? The Danganronpa bit? No, I can't. I can't. Not now. I will say, the best thing to come out of this was that one TikTok from that guy Eli. That was funny. Danganronpa is trash! <laughs> That's a lie! I can Kokichi! Why are you so good at it? Being a voice actor for anime takes no talent. All four games will also be in It's so easy. All you, you just have to, you know, it's so simple. You could do it. Have you ever tried? That's not bad. 
yeah. You know what mode. though? Good on Nintendo for not lying. They just show, show you the graphics and they're like, skaters. hey brother, take it or leave it. Drop into Tony and I'm like, Pro Skater one and two, I'll shake to that. Wow! Yeah! Okay! Oh. Damn, that sucks. It still looks very good though. It still looks amazing. I'm not an Advance Wars guy. I just feel like if I was, I'd be very sad. But it's still a W, right? It's just... Advance Wars is always one of those games that, like, I I want to get into and play like, but I feel like I would only play it for, like, an hour. Oh, no. Hello not there. him. I'm the AG Harbinger of Doom. Oh, no. You think he's stalling? What is the origin of the Master Sword? You think he's stalling? <laughs> like, he, does, he, he, he doesn't want to tell the you. There's still for nothing. <laughs> for today... We've prepared some new footage to show a bit more of the game. Please take a look. I will. Shit is scary, Jesus. Is this why they wanted to do Skyward Store sort of stuff? So it's Breath of the Wild with verticality? Okay. It's finalized. Hi everyone. I'm Doug Bowser from Nintendo. Oh World shit, of it's him. And I'm here with Nate Bildorf. There's a toad in the grass. Team. So, uh, let's talk about the conference. See, the thing is, the stuff that I got that I'm excited for are all small. I feel like I ordered the appetizer plate at Applebee's. WarioWare is mozzarella sticks. For me, Metroid is wings. I feel like all these Nintendo games are really good, but I don't feel like they're my... But it's because the big game they're focusing on right now is Zelda, which I'm not really into. That's all it is. I, I do I do think Microsoft was better, but I do think Nintendo did good. I think B is good. This is how I felt. I know other people won't feel this way. This is how I felt, personally. Hors d'oeuvres? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say I was I was perfectly whelmed. I'm a little a little bit more than whelmed. I would say. E3 made a tweet that Bandai Namco is only focusing on one specific game that is not Elden Ring. No way! <laughs> Guys, guys, House of Ashes, they're all hallucinations. None of the monsters are real. You don't have to play it now. Um, that means we're basically done with... Actually, hold on, wait, before we're done, before we're done, wait. And it's their problem now. There we go. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I am utterly whelmed. You know what's crazy? This tweet of me making surface level generalizations and talking about game trends has 20k likes. I got on a I got on like a shitty Instagram meme page and I was on V for a little bit. I was like the main OP thread on V and everybody thought it was me posting. Everybody <laughs> they're like fuck off Coney. I was like I didn't I didn't post anything. I was like that's kind of funny.